Hello and welcome back to RC Icons. So in this video I want to finish my Astute 2022 or my TD2. I should just call it my TD2. I know what you're saying. We never even saw the build of the TD2. Yeah I know. <laughs> so I built this car this past summer when I was on vacation. I was at the beach in my camper and I brought I brought this and I brought my TB05 but I didn't I didn't want to film it. I just kind of wanted to to hang out with my family on vacation and if the the opportunity came, I was going to build a car or two. Um and I figured this was kind of a newer age car. It really didn't need to be filmed. Um it's been done a million times on YouTube. Um which is fine. But I'm going to uh this is exactly how I left the car. It was probably almost 4 months ago, 3 and a half months ago. This is exactly how I left the car. Um, but I want to get it wrapped up. So there is a servo in it. Um, I can't remember if I put a motor in it. There's a receiver in it. Yeah, there's a BZ motor in it. So this car is ready to rip short of a, short of a receiver. And that's kind of the intention for this video. Um, I want to get it done so I can take it out for a ride. But I also have the last couple of hop-ups I didn't have with me when I was on vacation. And I want to get them fitted in this video as well. So we're going to get the body painted up. Um, we're going to get the body painted up. We're going to get the driver figure in it. And then uh, get it decaled. And then I also want to fit the last of the hop-ups. So when this car and the TD4 first came out. I bought every hop up you could get for it and this is a lot like my TD4 I think only difference is I did do blue screws on this car and you can see them in the bottom so the TD4 I thought I had done blue screws but it was this one so when I showed you my TD4 and I kept talking about blue screws it's my TC01 and the TD2 I did blue screws um, but every hop up that Tamiya offered is in the car um, Turn buckles are blue, and I'll bring the camera over as usual to show you. But one of the things that they've come out with um, that wasn't available when I built the car is the rear carbon shock tower. So I actually bought I bought I bought four of them. So I actually bought five of them because I'm sending I'm Jason sending Jason at True Vintage at TD4 because I want him to build it with all the hop ups and a set of aeration shocks and I want him to run it on the track and give me his honest opinion of the chassis. So I'm sending him and his sons a car um, or a kit to build with all the hop ups. So I ended up ordering five of these. One for Jason, one for my TD4, one for my TD2 and um, like Glenn said in his uh, giveaway video with the ultrasonic cleaner um, I always order Whatever I order, I order for him too. So he's got two of these coming as well. Um, to fit to his TD2 and his TD4, which have all the hop-ups except for the rear carbon damper. So Glenn's got two coming as well. Um, so yeah, in this video, I'll bring the camera over. I'll show you the car. I'm going to get going on the paint. And while the paint is drying and we're waiting for that, um, I'm going to fit the aeration shocks, I'm going to fit the rear carbon shock tower, and then once the paint is dry, we'll bring it up, we'll get it decaled, and uh, and then hopefully all we have to do is fit the receiver, and this car will be uh, rip-roaring and ready to go. But it does have a BZ motor in it, and I'll show you that as we're kind of going through the car. So let me bring the camera over it real quick, we'll take a look at what we got going on here, and then uh, we'll get to it. All right, so now that I've got you up close and personal, so this is the car with the body shell cut out. Um, you can see a lot of the blue bling, and I will take the, the cover off here in a second so you can see all of it. All the rear bling. And then when I turn it over, all the blue screws, which is pretty cool. So a lot of people don't like this body. I actually really like it. I like it a lot to be honest. I'm fine with the battery tray being sideways. I'm fine with the standard setup on the car. So I'm actually looking forward to seeing how this comes out. Now originally I was going to 
And I am going to do a box art short one detail. I'm going to use uh, PS15. I'm going to use the metallic red instead. Um, I was going to try to paint the stripes and actually add a silver stripe on the car. But I've just got so much stuff going on paint wise that I don't want to hold up finishing this car any longer. Because winter's coming and I want to try to get this thing run before winter. So... If I decide to go down that route, I'll pro what I'll probably do is use um, Revive RC's version 1 body shell, uh, like Glenn did, and still try to do this livery on that body shell, and paint the stripes on there instead. But I do actually like the box art. So, the body's cut out and masked and ready to go. It's literally been masked for four months, ready to go, and it's just been sitting in the corner of my uh, of my studio so this thing is super super soft I can't remember if I put oil in these uh, CVAs when I built it but I just the red and black is cool but it does not go with all the blue alloy so if, if you look all the screws up top all the screws I could make blue are blue um, there's some screws you just can't do it because of the type of screw that they are so We've got all the hop-ups, we've got all blue aluminum turnbuckles, we've got the blue anti-roll bars, we've got all the blue turnbuckles in the back as well. Um, so this car is just screaming blue alloy. And then you can see I've got a 1060 sitting here, I've got a, uh, a JX short um, servo, 9 kilogram. It's got the alloy servo mounts, and then you can kind of see the hint of the the super stock BZ motor sitting in the back. So this this car is ready. Um, short of popping a receiver in here, and the receiver is going to fit right in between these two, so it's going to go perfect. So my intention today is to get these shocks out of here, um, which should be relatively easy. I think I have to use the original pistons or the original rods. Um, but I think the white and blue is going to look way better on there than the red and black. And then we've got the new TD2 slash TD4 carbon damper stay. So we're going to get that fitted as well. So having that little bit of carbon up there is going to look great too. So I'm going to get started. I don't think there's anything else to show you. Um, I'm going to get started uh, getting uh, mud guards off, getting everything off of this um, so that I can change the damper stay and the shocks and get this into paint. And I'll bring you back as I have something to show you. All right, so I've been working away here. I've got the shocks off, but I haven't done anything with them. There is oil in them. I've got the carbon shock tower fitted and with the kit you get new wing stays because it it mounts it takes your regular wing mounts which were down here and it changes the wing position you put the wing on the shock tower so it appears to me like it lifts it up about 20 to 25 mil so it's probably more like I'm assuming with the regular wing mounts the wing hits the shock tower possibly I'm not sure I'm not sure why they change it but they they change it so I don't know what it's going to look like I'll find out when I put the wing on um I did use blue screws again you can see all the blue screws um so yeah, next step is to get the shocks built and mounted. Now I know I said I wasn't going to do the silver stripe. But I just finished masking off my silver stripes on both sides. So essentially what happens is this gets painted silver. And then when the decal goes on, it leaves a, a pinstripe of silver underneath the black on both sides. And then the wing is supposed to be clear. But I hate clear wings. So I just masked off the wing because the protective film is on the outside. Um, I want it to be shiny. So I'm going to paint the inside of the wing edges silver. I'm going to do the wing in silver. So silver, silver, and then I'll take the, the protective film off. I'll mask the outside or I'll just cut the protective film and pull the film and leave it on the outside. 
and then I'll paint this silver on the outside after the film is gone. I also masked off the mud guards, so I'm going to paint the whole top rim silver and then I'll pull the tape and paint it red and when that decal goes on it'll essentially do the same thing. It'll give me that silver stripe um, between the black and the red same as on the body on all four mud guards. So that's the plan. Um, I'm gonna go get silver paint on this. Cockpit's going black just like it's supposed to. So I'm going to go start getting paint on this and then I'll come back up and get the shocks built. Alright, so this is the carnage of what's left. This pile of stuff on the middle of my bench. It's been a battle. But we got the aeration shocks in. So those are your rears. And then those are your fronts. Fronts don't have a ton of travel, which is exactly the way I want it. The rears have more, but if you look at the arms, the arms are exactly perpendicular to the chassis, which is what I wanted. No droop. This car stock sits like, it's it's literally almost two inches off the deck. It This car sits so high with the stock suspension, it's insane. So I wanted to lower it some. So, I was able to, uh, I put, what did I put? I put, uh, I put 10 mil of spacers in both the front and the rear. And then I also manipulated some of it with, I, I used some of this, the stock mount points um, on some of the shafts. I used the stock rods themselves because um, the aeration rods are longer and they, it was just going to compound my problem. Uh, I ended up having to take my blue mounts off that come with the carbon rear damper in order to in order to get that to work. So I just peeled I didn't even peel. I just uh, I painted the inside of the wing geez that almost looks like it can use another coat but that's fine so I'll do one more coat I'll do one, one more coat on the inside edge of this wing um, and I just cut the protective film on this side of it So there's still protective film on both outsides, but now the middle is wide open and ready for me to paint. So I'm going to use the protective film as the mask. So that's ready to be painted silver. And then I'll get another coat on the insides just so that's not as thin as it looks. My stripes on the fender flares came out great. There's one, there's one little spot here that needs to be cleaned up. I don't even know if you can see it so small. You can see it right there. And then the, the stripes on my body came out perfect. So there's my silver stripes down both sides. So now when I decal it, it should leave me a nice silver stripe. So this is going red, PS15. The stock color is uh, uh, mica red. It's like PS60 something, I can't remember. So I'll paint the fenders red, I'm going to paint the body red, the cockpit is black, it's all done. I'm going to hit this one more time with silver and then I'm going to get a couple of coats on the back. So I'm going to get this cleaned up, I'm going to get this painted, I'll bring you back when I'm ready to decal. And I don't have a mess all over my bench. See you in a bit. All right, so the paintwork is done. So there's your wing. Shiny on the sides, shiny on the front. Backed it with gunmetal. Your wheel 
arches or fenders. So that's your PS15 metallic red backed in gunmetal. Came out nice. Hopefully we'll have a nice silver stripe when the decals go on. So then on your body, it's got some clear areas on the sides which I which I left alone just because that's what the directions tell you to do. I think it's so that you can see your front shocks. So we're going to peel these off and then we're going to peel out our window mask. Canopy doesn't look too bad. So the masking was good. And now protective film time. So that's it. With the metallic red backed in gunmetal with the silver stripes. I think the silver stripes are really going to look good with the decals on it. It's just going to give it that little bit of extra. It's going to stand 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 out versus like a regular box art. It's box art with a little bit of extra. Here we go. Looks awesome. Look at that color. Nice silver stripes. Came out great. So yeah, that's your body. So now it's time to get all this color on there. And it's just gonna take it up another notch. So I'm not gonna bring you back little by little. I think I'm just gonna get it decaled. And uh, so there's your clear sides. And it allows you to see your shocks. The hell I'll throw it on there. So it allows you to see your shocks through the through the side. Pretty cool. So yeah, that's gonna be it on. And then we'll have to see that new wing position. I think it's actually gonna look pretty good. So yeah, I, I'm gonna get this thing decaled up and I'll just bring you back for the finished car. Versus bringing you back little by little. See you in a second. So as promised, it's fully decaled. I hate the wing. I hate the mud guards, but I love the body. So that silver stripe I painted on just gives it that extra touch, right? The decals, they should have done a silver stripe. I wish I had done one down at the bottom here. Um, Short of putting the decals on first, it makes it a little bit hard. So I did a radius stripe on the on the mud guards and the decals are straight. <laughs> right? So let me see if I can get it in an angle. So yeah, they're straight all the way across. So that silver stripe looks a little hokey because mine's arched and the decals are straight. And it was supposed to just be an accent line like the body, right? Just a straight accent line between that black and, and red and because it's arched it looks a little little funky but that's all right the car looks really it looks badass without without the mud guards and then the wing I should have painted red 
I painted it silver thinking that it would be all right. It's supposed to be transparent, but I painted it silver thinking that it would be all right. But that red awesome is a completely different color, so it just looks wrong. Um, so I have the TD4 wing that I never used, so I can cut a new wing and paint it red. I need to look to see if MCI does TD2 decals. Um, because I'd love for the awesome to be in silver. And if it, and if, well, the regular Avanti, the awesome is diagonal. So it would look funny, I think, if it was going on diagonal. I like it actually square to the, to the wing. So we'll have to figure it out, but whatever. It's a runner. I, I can't get, th this is what happens. It's like everything I build, I, I want to build 100%. The, the driver, and then, you know. It's a runner. It's supposed to be getting destroyed, right? <laughs> the driver looks good. He's a little short because I used <laughs> I used that spacer to lift his head up to lower the car. <laughs> so I need to get a new spacer. So when you when you look in there, the driver just looks too short. So I have spacers somewhere. So I just need to find one and stick it under his helmet. But yeah, I did silver silver body. I did silver helmet, and then I did the faced shield. And then that red, you know, all the red is supposed to match the paint. I did a different color red paint, so nothing matches, right? So it is what it is. It's fine. You guys will have to tell me in the comments what you think. Um, I think the body looks awesome. I think the wing looks uh, like shit. And I think the mud guards look like shit. So it, it, it is what it is. The wing position on that carbon fiber uh, hop-up, because the wing position changes, is okay. Um... For those of you that are wondering so the regular wing you know mounted to the car and it sat lower um but the height of this wing with that shock tower the way that it is it looks good i think it looks good but um you know now with the aeration shocks on there and all the blue screws it it just looks killer and it's it's low enough for me now there's not a no oh, there's still quite a bit of suspension there so um, all that's left to do is put a receiver in it. Um, I'm not going to bore you with that. Um, I think I, I'm just going to save that for the running video. We'll throw the receiver in, we'll get it fired up, and uh, we'll take it out for a run. So next video we'll be running it. But let me get this cleaned up and uh, get you in a normal view for a closing. So that's going to wrap up this episode of RC Icons with the TD2 Super Astute. It's been a day so I filmed the last segment yesterday and I let the car sit on the bench overnight and I've been looking at it this afternoon since I've been home from work and uh, <laughs> I still have mixed emotions about it. So every, I think I like it, and then I think I don't. And then I think I like it, and then I think I don't. So I love the body, don't get me wrong. I absolutely love the body. The body came out great. I just think that silver stripe absolutely makes it. I wish Tammy had done that in the decals. Bringing that silver down um, was awesome. And I know I had posted a picture of the body painted with that big silver stripe coming down both sides on the community page when I did it. And I got a great response, but I don't know that people knew I was doing box art with the decals. Um, but I absolutely love the body; it came out great. Love the decals too. There's nothing I don't. I, there's nothing that I don't like about it. I think it's a great looking TD2 body. Um, I've never. I've, the mud guards I could care less about. In all honesty, like um, I'm fine with the mud guards themselves. I just. I just don't know how I feel about that curved stripe with the straight decal. That's kind of just driving me a little bit crazy. Um, I think the paintwork came out great, but the silver, just red and silver looks weird. It needs the black and the blue. I don't know why I thought for some, because you, you can't really see them in the picture. So for some reason I thought they curved with the actual mud guard. And then and they're not so it's kind of just giving it a weird line the wing I absolutely hate <laughs> um, not so much the silver as much as the red doesn't match the awesome on the red decal just doesn't match that metallic red 
which makes sense. I mean, they made that decal to match a completely different color red. So I don't know what I'm going to do about that yet. Um, I'm looking into ordering. So MCI doesn't do TD2 decals, and I just cut mine up, so it's not like I can scan them and send them to them. I may get a sheet of regular astute decals and have the awesome sticker change to silver and then shrink it down a couple scales. Um, I don't know how many percent it would need to be, probably 20% um, to make the awesome shorter. But I don't necessarily want the width to change. And I think the width would change because um, I think the awesome one, the, um, I'm just looking at my original astute. So yeah, the width probably needs to shrink down some too. So maybe if we reduce it 20% and have it done in silver, then I could paint their wing red and then the blue and black decals would look good with the red and the silver awesome. And then I could still do a silver stripe like it's like it shows on the side but i don't know i'm i think i'm overthinking it to be honest and then i lose sight of the fact that this is a runner car for me like it shouldn't be this crazy for me as far as how the body looks but it is what it is i think it looks great like the body shell itself all the decals fit perfect all the black pinstriping around the canopy and around the, the uh, clear section in the front look great i think it's a great looking body a lot of people don't like it i love it I, it's way better than the td4 original body way better so yeah, that's going to wrap up this episode. You'll probably see this car again. Um, I do want to get a running video of it. All I have to do is put a receiver in and this thing's ready to go. So we're probably going to do that relatively quick because winter is knocking on our doors here. And uh, I'd love to get this thing out for a run seeing as it's supposed to be a runner. So yeah, if you haven't already subscribed and liked and turned on your notifications and all that fun stuff we ask you to do as YouTube creators, um, please do it. Um, it doesn't cost you a penny and all it does is help push the channel out there. Um, I love the channel support that I've got already. Um, and I thank you for that. So if you're already a subscriber, thank you. If you're not, you should be. <laughs> I don't want you to miss the next TD2 video or any of my other future videos for that matter. So please subscribe, turn on your notifications. Let me know in the comments what you think of the TD2. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Do you like this one? Do you like the silver? Give me some feedback. Let me know. Let me know that I'm doing the right thing. And until next time, we'll see you soon. Thanks.